Farm Fact Friday. And today I'm just going to talk a little bit about field maintenance. Uh, it really does matter on the farm and just going to talk about a couple ways that we handle uh, field maintenance and how we use what's pictured in the background to help us. So in the spring when we're working ground it isn't simply just about getting the tractor into the field and pulling the implement behind to work up that ground and prepare it for planting. Another thing that happens is as we work up that ground year after year, sometimes we're kicking up new rocks. They come to the surface and it's important to not let those rocks just hang out in that soil. So one of the things that we have to do is get out there and pick them up. We don't want them um, ruining a planter or a drill. We don't want it to um, come in to the combine as a foreign material. These are all concerns and all things that make it, you know, we could cause us to slow down uh, what we're doing. If there's a breakdown, um, could result in an insurance claim depending on the damage. So all of these things go into it, which is why field maintenance is so important. So uh, that's one piece. Another piece is if you have ground and it's not all tillable, so say there's some wooded area around that, that field, it's very important to make sure that the wood is picked up as well. So if trees fall into the field um, or if branches are sticking out way too far, uh, that could cause scratches on the tractor or you know the tree that's fallen is in the way of tractors uh, working that ground or you know combine trying to harvest those are all concerns so uh, these two examples of making sure that fields are maintained uh, we use something like what's in the background so ours is a gator uh, it doesn't matter the brand but these have been very very helpful on the farm so literally we take uh, kids and for rock picking up or uh, wood picking up, we just all work together, getting those things out of the field, throwing them into the back, uh, taking it back to the, the farm or another's house where they may burn wood, uh, dumping it and going back for more. So when you can get one, two or three of these with multiple people helping, the job goes so much faster. So uh, these have been very convenient on the farm. Uh, we've also utilize them to get people from field to field um, and also have used them for like our little crop watch to see uh, how the crops are doing in the field what changes um, are happening from week to week and it, it just kind of adds to the farming experience so I know that these type of buggies and such are not exclusive to just a farm uh, you could be in the country or in a rural area and still have one of these and enjoy them very much. So I wanted to just touch base on the fact that even though you may consider this personal property, which it is, it is you know, when you buy it, it becomes yours. Uh, from an insurance standpoint, it may not be the case. So we consider these type of things toys and it's very, very important that you communicate these purchases to your insurance professional because um, the worst scenario is if something happens to one of them and you call in to report a claim only to find out that your insurance agency did not know that you bought this and that coverage is not extended. So as a rule of thumb, if you're going to buy a toy such as this, uh, please pick up the phone, send a text, write an email and let your insurance agent know, hey, I bought a gator, uh, what do I need to do, if anything, to make sure that it's on my policy and covered? Because uh, like I said, the worst way to find out is if something does happen and it's not covered. So we have really enjoyed these from uh, not only a useful standpoint, but also an entertainment standpoint. And it's just a way that we can um, not only have the adults help, but the kids on the farm help as well to make sure that fields are taken care of and kind of eliminating any future issues that may that may come about. So hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday and uh, if 
you know of anyone that would enjoy watching this, feel free to share. We love interacting with all of you on social media. So uh, we look forward to this each and every week. And with that, have a great rest of your day and we will check you back next week. Take care.